This video will show how the SecInfo rules work. These are part of the gateway security features. The SecInfo rules apply to the startup of external programs by SAP. We will use the Orion test system. It has two instances running on different servers, Orion A and Orion B. Let's see the current SecInfo rules in use at Orion A. In order to do that, we access the transaction SMGW. Then we access the menu Go to Expert Functions External Security Display SecInfo. Since there is no SecInfo file, the gateway is using its internal default. Let us create a file to demonstrate how the rules work. We go back in order to reload the file after having created it. After creating the file at operating system level, we access the menu Go to Expert Functions External Security Reread. We can see that the security files were reloaded at the bottom of the screen. Let's display the file again in order to see the rule we have created for this video. The first line is hashtag version equals two. This is recommended so we use the syntax version two of these rules which enables more features. This has to be the first line of the file. All other lines that start with a hashtag will be considered comments. At the second line, we have our first rule. It can start with either P for permit or D for deny. We start our rule with P as we are allowing the startup of the program. The TP option indicates which is the program that we are allowing to be started. We will use the RFC exec test program. At the user option, we set the user ID that is allowed to start this program. We have set it to the ID we are using now. User host is a list of servers where the user could be logged on when starting the program. To define more servers, use a comma separated list with no spaces. Blank spaces are used to separate one option from another. For now, we set this option to Orion B only. The host option indicates the servers where the program can be started. A comma separated list can be used as well. The last two lines have rules that are recommended to be the last rules of the SecInfo file. The gateway applies the rules in the order that they appear in the file. That is why the order of the rules is relevant. In addition, the gateway has an implicit final rule, which is deny all. Therefore, if we don't have a rule allowing a program to be started, this action will be denied. We have commented the final rules for this video, so we can better demonstrate how the rules work. Let's access the transaction SM59 from Orion B in order to test our rule. After expanding TCP IP connections, we open the destination GWSEC-DEST, which is the destination we will use at this video. As we can see at the activation type section, the program is to be started at an explicit host. The program field indicates that SAP will start the RFC exec test program. The host where the program will be started is Orion A. The Gateway Options section indicates that we will use the Gateway from Orion A to start the program. We click at Connection Test and we see that the connection is successful. Let us repeat the test, however, from Orion A. The gateway from Orion A denied the startup of the program. If you recall the rule, indeed we have set user host to Orion B only. Let us adjust that now. After adjusting the rule at operating system level, we have to reload the file. Let's display the file again to see the new rule. We have adjusted the user host option. Instead of Orion B, we have set it to internal, comma, local. Internal is a keyword that means all servers that are part of this SAP system. 
Local is another keyword that means the server itself. Let us perform a new test from Orion A in order to confirm that the rule is working. We can see that now the user can start the program from Orion A as well. Below this video, there is a link to a wiki page where you can find more information regarding the gateway security features. Thank you for watching!